Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying Natasha Denona eyeshadows for the very first time. I have waited so long to do this because they are so, so pricey. So the fact that I got my hands on the holiday Natasha Denona in, what's this called? Joya, I'm so excited like I want to give you guys a full like unbiased review of how bomb or not these eyeshadows are from like a I don't got all that money to be spending on you so you better be good point of view you get what I'm saying this palette right here was $48 and it brings one two three four five shadows the colors in this palette are star bronze red grape gold fuchsia and peach gold this center one caught my attention so much when I swatched it in Sephora but they all swatch so beautifully Natasha Denona says that this is a new formula they are hybrid eyeshadows they're like a cream to powder formula and they all seem really 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 nice to the touch I've never owned anything of Natasha Denona's. Everything has always been so out of like my price range. But I guess if you look at it in the sense that there are five shadows, so each is worth maybe like eight to ten dollars, right? Since this is forty-eight dollars, it's all each eight to ten dollars. So I guess it's more or less like what a lot of eyeshadows are worth. They're a little bit more than Makeup Geek, but I feel like Makeup Forever eyeshadows are more or less along the same. So I'm really hoping that this quality is amazing because I look forward to be being able to buy more Natasha Denona palettes so i saw her video on the holiday edition and she says that this is a hybrid eyeshadow formula it's basically kind of inspired by her original eyeshadow formula which is supposedly super bomb but they're better they're like a cream to powder type thing and they're just such beautiful like shimmery crystal shades like i'm so excited to try this guys you have no idea i have been a little sick so my nose is super runny so please forgive me if like I sound like a little strange or like a little stuffy you know the deal the first color I'm gonna go in with today is red grape this is a gorgeous color I already have my eyes primed and ready to go whoa whoa first glance that is very pigmented this is blending out like a damn dream. Wow, this is gorgeous. The next color I'm gonna go into is this gorgeous shimmery shade Fuchsia. It's a little bit similar to Red Grape. It just has more red in it, less purple, and it's a shimmery shade. I'm packing this shade on in the inner and outer corner. I'm getting some inspo from the Natasha Denona makeup tutorial that I saw her do. So I'm gonna kinda try and follow that. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit of fuchsia and red grape. And I'm going to blend that into my crease. Now I'm grabbing a really big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna make sure that's all blended out. Don't mind all of this down here. I'm gonna clean that up with concealer, but this is, this is beautiful. Now, I don't know, I'm like kind of, I'm, a bit in, I'm in a bit of a pickle because I want to use this one, but then I want to use this one, but then I want to use this one. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Star Bronze on my eyelid. Supposedly, you do not have to wet these eyeshadows for them to show up really nicely. So we'll see about that. See about that. Since I'm feeling a little saucy... What am I not feeling saucy? I feel like when it comes to makeup, I'm always saucy. I'm like, mm, putting all these crazy like colors. Stuff. Actually, you know what? No, uh, it's more like shimmer. I'm not more of a crazy color person. I'm more of like a shimmery, glittery person. I really like that. But anyways, I'm gonna go into glitter and glitter. I'm gonna go into gold and I'm gonna literally pop that like right in the s <gasps> Ugh. I couldn't even finish it all saying right in the center. I am in love with this. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. And then, yeah, 
And I'll give you guys my final word. Okay, I am back. I finally finished everything and oh my god, guys. My final opinion on this is that this is probably one of the best eyeshadows I have ever, ever used. It is so, so, so beautiful and so pigmented. And I'm seriously, seriously debating buying one of her bigger palettes. When I saw her video that she was explaining her holiday collection, she says that these were like hybrid eyeshadows, cream to powder type styles, and that it was inspired by her original formula, but a little bit different. So I'm hoping that her other eyeshadows are just as amazing because this blended out so easily. I'm just like convinced that these eyeshadows require such minimal, minimal effort. And they're so, 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 so pigmented, guys, like so, it's just absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited and happy that I have this because now I want to just try more of her things. It just worries me a little bit because it is super pricey, but I guess you can justify it in how much each eyeshadow pan is costing you. Because this cost $48, um, $48 US dollars in Sephora and this is five eyeshadows. So I guess it's like like I said, maybe like $8 per shadow, which is more or less what you buy for single eyeshadows for high-end brands. And even Makeup Geek is like around six bucks, so it's not too far off for really, really good quality eyeshadows. Obviously, there are a lot of other great eyeshadows that I feel like work beautifully, and it can be within your budget. But if you can afford Natasha Denona's eyeshadows, I feel like you should definitely go for it. Like, take the plunge try it see what you think if not you just return it at sephora sephora literally takes so many returns they're like nordstrom i feel like you bring the palette with like no eyeshadows maybe just one and you're like mm, i didn't like this and they're like okay <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe learned something maybe now you got a little curious about natasha denona shadows i'm so so happy that i tried them out you have no idea i'm so excited i'm just a little sad that i'm like a limited to these colors so I can only really do like berry looks and stuff. But like I said, I'm gonna really see if I can save and budget and maybe buy like a bigger palette of hers for more like everyday usable eyeshadow colors. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet already, hit that subscribe button below and join the fam. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.